I am Slick Nick. And here is my observation. People are reluctant to acknowledge that general rules do exist. I've been managing this channel for years now. And if you watch this channel for the hair loss videos, you know that I personally, and I was the first to do it, and the only one who's standing by this, I created a list, a quiz, whatever you want to call it, of ways to determine whether you are going to be bald or not, because that's a big question people ask on Google. You know, what's the meaning of life? Number two question, am I going to go bald? Right? It's, that's not really much of an exaggeration there. So I know this. I know that YouTube's the number two search engine in the world. So years ago, I thought, well, let's start talking about this. Let me figure this out. Uh, what is predictable? Because people love to ask, what causes hair loss? Because if they think something causes hair loss, they think that they can do something to stop the cause. Or what prevents hair loss? If there really was a prevention to it, then we... So people like to believe these things exist. They like to believe that. But what I focused on is I thought, you know what? Instead of trying to hope that rosemary oil or something like that will stop hair loss, and it was funny because for me personally, it wasn't even that I was trying to stop going bald. I was just trying to provide content for a community that was you know, creating ad revenue for me. And I was growing that. And I, I always am. I mean, I'm still making money in my sleep from the videos I made years ago when I was testing out rosemary oil on myself. But ultimately, in that whole process, I did find some generalizations that can largely predict if a guy's going to go bald by the age of 35. They have to do uh, with uh, how much hair you had when you were one year old as a projection of you at age 35. Because most men who go bald aggressively go bald before the age of 35, not after. Uh, it also has to do with your DNA. If you were of Asian descent, like specifically, you know, like Japanese specifically or Native American, you're less likely to go bald. In general, if you can grow a full beard by the time you're 18, you're also more likely to go bald. So, you know, if you want to look up my theories, I've made multiple videos. You do the work, you search them, you'll find them. They're there. They're all over the place. But what's funny is throughout the years of doing this, I will always have people who listen to my general rules, which actually are very true. And they'll say, well, that ain't true because I know this Japanese kid and he was bald at age 16. Or I know this a uh, Japanese kid and he could grow a full beard by 18 and you said Asian people can't grow facial hair. They'll always find an exception to try to prove it wrong. And I think what's interesting is as you get older like I do, instead of trying to fight or rebuttal general rules, you easily accept these general rules knowing that there's always going to be an exception. And when someone takes time out of their day to try to rebuttal the general rule, I feel that that actually proves my point that yes, this is usually how it works and anything else is an exception to the rule. So yeah, there's, I'm not saying that all the time. I'm saying that in general, and I'm saying most. So most could be 51%, most could be 70%, most could be 95%. But ultimately, why, why focus on the exception of the rule? Why would we want to kind of think, hey, if this is true for most people, it's probably true for me. And it's funny because even speaking of my, you know, five ways to predict if you're going to go bald, uh, you know, by the age of 35. It's what's funny is I've made multiple videos where I said, hey, here's the five things. You know what I'm, I need to do? I need to make, okay, you talk me into it. I'm going to put a link in this video, taking you straight to the video. That way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And in the video, I will say something like this. Here are the five ways to predict if you're going to go bald. Don't just focus on one, focus on all five. And it's the greatest number out of those five. If four or three of these apply to you, then that's which way this thing swings. And that's how you're going to know if you're going to go bald or not. I say, look at all five and focus on that. And whatever the majority is, that's your answer to question. And don't ask me if you're going to go bald. Tell me because I just provided you the information. And that goes over their heads and instead they say, and they focus on one. We're like, well, my dad is half Chinese. So uh, my dad was bald by the time he was 27. 
and they'll bring up stuff that wasn't even mentioned. Like I never, never, never in my five rules ever care about if your dad was bald or your mother's father was bald. I never bring it up. It's not general enough to be a role. So I don't talk about it. I have five other things that actually do matter, but it flies over people's head and instead they want to focus on something I never talked about or they want to hyper focus on one thing, but then ignore the rest. And it's all about the general. So as you all know, I'm 40 years old. I am at a point in life. I'm at a point in the, uh, Maslow hierarchy of needs pyramid where I am able to better focus on middle truth to focus on things for what they actually are, not what I want them to be. And to me, that's red pill, not chasing happiness, but creating happiness, finding happiness in what I already have. So this is what I've observed. People are reluctant to accept that general rules do exist. It makes life easier when we acknowledge that they do. But I think certain people are afraid to you know, fall into some kind of stereotype or think, ah, well, if, these, if Nick's rules are true, then he's telling me what it's gonna be like for me. And I don't like that. I think that's probably a lot of it, is younger people don't wanna be told like, hey, I know that you want to be told that you're not gonna go bald, but maybe you are, but sort it out first and then you be the judge. So yeah, I think that's, very much of an important part of growing up and maturing and becoming older as a human being that you realize, Hey, there are general rules that exist. I want to pay attention to them because you know what? Maybe I can learn the answer that soon, the much sooner instead of hoping that it works out better based on me trying to outsmart the general rule. And sometimes maybe you do want to be the exception to the rule. Maybe it would be a good thing if you are the exception to the rule. But it really, in my opinion, is quite foolish to get hung up on an exception to the rule or to get hung up on something that's not even one of the general rules to begin with. So then you're just kind of doing your own thing, living in your own world. And by all means, exceptions to the rules are great things. They really can be great things. And I always remain open minded and optimistic for those things to work out. But as far as me placing hope in an exception to the rule, no, I'm going to place my hope in the general rule and then be surprised if it's not true, knowing that the majority of the time, that's the thing that you would want to follow. And ultimately, last thought here is people don't like you if you're trying to prove them wrong. They don't. I've talked about this from Dale Carnegie. In fact, when someone tries to prove you wrong, just smile and go along with it. It's okay because it's not about proving people right or wrong. What it is about personally is you finding, Hey, what's the most efficient way to live my life? What's going to, why go down that path? If, if ultimately I know that most times this is how it's going to end up anyway, why don't I start there? And if I want to try to find out another way around it, that's cool. So there you go. People are reluctant to admit that general rules exist. And yes, I, the irony is not lost on me. I just made a nine minute video talking about how, you know, people are reluctant, reluctant to accept general rules. What did I just do? I made a nine minute video about a general rule, didn't I? So I guess now people are going to be tempted to leave a comment trying to say that my general rule isn't true, which ultimately again proves my point. Your comments belong right here.